Even with some of the over-the-top graphics solutions out there today that promise Maxord performance with a price tag to match, there's an old classic problem that has been around for years that still plagues gamers, even those who own top-end equipment. Screen tearing. Tearing is what occurs when your screen gets fed more than one frame during the time it's refreshing the on-screen image. Usually, torn images only stick around on your screen for a fraction of a second, but it's still enough to notice in a large number of popular gaming titles. The reason tearing occurs is because PC video cards, especially high performance ones, can often render games at much higher frame rates than the ones that monitors run at. Most LCD monitors today have refresh rates of 60 Hz, which would translate to 60 frames per second. So if your graphics card is pumping out 80 or 90 frames per second, you're very likely to see screen tearing, since the monitor is getting more than one image per second. In the case of games with very high frame rates, it's actually even possible to have more than two partial frames drawn at a time. Now, the most common solution to the tearing problem is vertical sync, commonly shortened to V-Sync. It's an option you can find in your graphics control panel or even in the graphical settings of many games. V-Sync forces your graphics card to slow itself down and deliver frames at a maximum rate equal to your monitor's refresh rate. Again, usually 60 FPS, but sometimes higher. But as we all know, games have become much more graphically demanding over the years and consistently getting 60 FPS out of your GPU can be a challenge. This is where VSync falls short. If you turn VSync on and are playing through part of a game where your GPU can't pump out 60 frames per second, your monitor will have to wait for your graphics card before displaying a new frame, which causes stuttering and lag, problems that can be even more frustrating than screen tearing because of their inherent tendency to happen during the most intense gaming moments with lots of objects and effects flying around on the screen. Enter FreeSync. FreeSync is a standard from AMD that promises to eliminate screen tearing without the stuttering associated with VSync. FreeSync works through a feature included in a recent update to the DisplayPort standard called Adaptive Sync. Adaptive Sync takes variable refresh rate technology, something that's already existed mostly as a power saving measure, and allows a monitor and graphics adapter to communicate with each other to synchronize how many frames per second the graphics card is spitting out and the monitor's refresh rate so there's all always one and exactly one complete frame on screen at a time. Adaptive Sync works between 30 and 144 hertz, so while you're stuck with a DisplayPort connection, and if you want to use variable refresh rate, although the other connections will work in the case of FreeSync, you should see a noticeable improvement in both graphically intense and less graphically intense portions of your games. No tearing visible. So how do you get it, you might ask? Well, to use FreeSync, you need a compatible monitor and graphics card. Compatible monitors have a DisplayPort Revision 1.2a input with optional Adaptive Sync support in the firmware. Then on the GPU side, you can consult the FAQ on AMD's website for the latest information. But Linus, you might be saying, what about NVIDIA's G-Sync? Hadn't they beaten AMD to the punch? Isn't FreeSync just kind of the same thing? Although G-Sync and FreeSync do accomplish the same objective, there are some important differences. FreeSync, while a proprietary AMD implementation, uses the open Adaptive Sync standard that can be found on third-party scalers, a necessary component of any monitor. While G-Sync works only through an NVIDIA-built scalar module that they sell to monitor manufacturers. So AMD's theory is that thanks to its lower cost, FreeSync will see much more widespread adoption, but NVIDIA seems pretty confident about G-Sync's chances in spite of the higher cost. Personally, I wish we'd all just get along, because the main thing for gamers who are shopping to know is that for now, if you want to run variable refresh rate tech, which you should because it's awesome, a FreeSync monitor will not do it with an NVIDIA graphics card, and a G-Sync monitor will not do it with an AMD graphics card, even though they'll both work normally with tearing with each other. Speaking of things, gamers something, where is that keyboard? Ah, I found it. MassDrop is today's sponsor. They're currently running a drop for this set of Galaxy keycaps from keypuller.com with a pretty significant discount. This is a full set, so that's 140 pieces of PBT caps with sublimated lettering and a cool, colorful, space-themed design. So why are they doing this? Well, because MassDrop uses group buys and community feedback to get great deals on tech products, tools, clothes, tea, and even board games. They work directly with manufacturers 
and distributors to find a starting price, a lowest price, and everything in between. And the more people commit to buy, the lower the cost goes for everyone. So there's a referral link in the video description that leads to the drop for this keycap set. It doesn't give us a commission or anything, but it does let them know that we sent you. So please use that link if you're interested in this drop or any of the other awesome drops that MassDrop offers on a daily basis. Guys, thank you for watching this episode of there it goes. Fast as possible. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you thought it sucked. Leave a comment if you have suggestions for future fast as possible, just like this one. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.